Joe was an incredible, incredible man. He meant so much to Columbia. He meant so much to West Columbia. He meant so much to the state of South Carolina. Governor Sanford, thank you for being here this morning. Thank you to all elected officials who are here today, friends and family. It's so good to see y'all. Thank y'all all for coming out. As a state, as a region, we're all thankful for the work that Governor Sanford and Joe did in his time at the Department of Commerce, the great work on behalf of our state and our region. He had such an impact on the broad scale, but he had even more of an impact on the local scale. He worked very hard to improve his hometown of Columbia. He worked so hard to get us going over in West Columbia. He understood that everything that was good for Columbia was good for West Columbia, the towns around here. He worked to bridge the gaps between our communities and encouraged us to work together. I can't think of a better stretch of road in this state to remember Joe Taylor by than right here. He was a literal bridge between our communities that provided development, redevelopment, and revitalization to all of us, and he always sought improvement in all of us. That's me as an as a elected official talking about him. I can't tell you how impressed I was to know Joe Taylor as a man. I think it's equally important to remember that. He took time with people. He helped to develop people. He pushed for change in systems and in governments, but he pushed for change in people, and he left a generation of leaders that he touched that are going to help push his visions forward. I'm so excited that we're recognizing this as the Joe Taylor way. I try to conduct business in that way myself, the way that he showed me and the things that he explained that were important, and I hope we'll all do that going forward. Thank you all for being here this morning. I'm going to hand it off to Mayor Rickenman. Good morning, everybody, to Amanda, Ann, Beach, and John, to all our, our invited guests, family, and friends. You know, we're here to celebrate and honor and give thanks for Joe Earl Taylor Jr. You know, he was a husband, a father, a friend, Secretary of Commerce, Councilman, author, pie judge, we can't forget that, <laughs> foodie, hunter, organizer, promoter, but most of all, he was a builder. And I'm not talking about the businesses he built, the houses he built, the offices he built. He was a builder of people in collaboration. Joe built relationships through food and fellowship, as we know, was the source of his joy. But he gave so much, and those relationships were about the resources and the connections, the emails, the articles, the books, the meetings, the connections, the dinners, and most of all, his opinion. And he had a few of those. But Joe told me something several years ago, and I've never forgot it. He said, you know, God blessed me with two hands, and I'm going to use one of them to support my family, and I'm going to use the other one to support our community and people. He loved this community more than anything else. He chose to bridge the gap between West Columbia and Columbia as the start of a regional approach because he believed we were stronger as a region together than we were separated. And he saw that. He knew our biggest negative as a region was collaboration. And he did everything in his power to pull that together. As we know, he did more in his short period of time than most of us will do collectively in our lifetime. He loved these cities with, with so much passion. It's food, it's culture, it's beauty. He was detail oriented, as we all know. He could be very picky when it came to what he thought something should look like in appearance. But at the end of the day, he was right. We should always put our best foot forward and we should always push to be number one. His dedication, dedication to our community will never be forgotten. But I was in Washington recently and I was leaving the White House and I saw a sign that said, leadership is not a position or an appointed appointment. It's about action and example. Well, I'm gonna tell you, Joe Earl Taylor Jr. was that person, action and example. Thank you. We'll now hear from House Representative Micah Caskey. Good morning. Thank you all for being here. Uh, over the last 
seven years or so, I've had the privilege to share an office with Joe. And among the many opinions he would share uh, were nuggets of wisdom, one of which was politicians always forget when they're giving brief remarks about the brief part. And so with that in mind, I'll echo what Mayors Miles and, and Rickman have, have shared with you. And that's what Joe represents to this community, a bridge between uh, a, the bridge over a river that can help all of us grow together, can build the community, can help us to continue to advance. And so you may ask, what is it about a road sign that matters? And I'm not sure the answer is self-evident, but if you think about what it can be, it's a cause for somebody to look up and ask, who is that guy? Who was Joe Earl Taylor Jr.? And those answers are inspiration. Those answers are encouragement and hopefully a focus that will enable us all here in the Midlands to continue to grow and develop. So uh, I'm glad to see you all here. Welcome to West Columbia. Uh, thank you for the opportunity to, to be with you. Uh, and I hope you have a great day. We'll now hear from Representative, I'm sorry, Senator Nikki Setzler. Thank you very much. Uh, to Joe's family, I want to say thank you for allowing me to do this today. As we stand here today and I look at this group of people, it's self-evident the impact that Joe Taylor had on South Carolina. We all knew him as Joe. Amanda lovingly called him Joey, and I never forgot that she called him Joey. How do you describe a man like Joe Taylor? He was a visionary. He was a man who saw things that the rest of us never envisioned could be accomplished or done. Joe Taylor was a doer. He didn't talk about doing things. He did things. He was passionate. He was relentless. He was intelligent. He was opinionated as has been referred to, but he also sought others' opinions. And he accomplished more than we can ever imagine. Joe Taylor was a change agent. Just look around you today at the impact that he's had not only on South Carolina while he was Secretary of Commerce and bring, bringing such entities as Boeing to South Carolina, but look at the city of Columbia and the recent development with the Finley Park and the revitalization of it, the railroad tracks on Rosewood. Look in the city of West Columbia on Meeting Street where he came and developed part of Meeting Street and had the vision of the rest of it. Look at St. Anne's Alley and what he did there, which nobody would ever envision would be done there and how successful it was. Joe Taylor was a loving individual. He loved his family. He loved his community. He loved his state. He loved Wofford College. And yes, he loved his Cherokee plantation. Joe Taylor was a chef, a foodie, and he loved talking about food and he could take you to the finest restaurant or he could take you to the deepest hole in the wall place to eat in South Carolina and everybody knew him wherever you went. Joe Taylor was a friend. He was a friend to everybody. If he was your friend, he was your friend forever. Joe Taylor was courageous. When you think about Joe Taylor's battle with cancer, he set a monumental example for the rest of us of how to face adversity and deal with it and keep going. And I will never forget that about him. Joe Taylor never forgot his roots. He never forgot where he came from. He always talked about his family he talked about the people that he dealt with. And as he went up that ladder of success, he reached back and took people with him as he went along that path. He was friends with everybody from the President of the United States 
to the guy who was standing and working on the side of the interstate. Joe Taylor saw no difference in people. Joe Taylor respected each individual and each person. Joe Taylor was impactful. Just look around. Look at what he's done for this community, for Columbia. We give thanks to God for Joe Taylor's life, his friendship, and his impact. Mayor Miles, will you come? Oh. Well, there was one, one part of Joe that I forgot to mention, and we're about to break out and leave out of here. But one of the things that impressed me most after he moved over here and put his office over in West Columbia, if I ever needed to meet with Joe to talk with Joe about anything, I could wait until the first part of the morning the next day. I walked my dog down there every morning, and I could always catch Joe first things in the morning outside of his buildings walking the block, including parts that he didn't own, and picking up trash in his parking lot because he wanted to put the best face forward for folks who came to see him and for our community. And I think that says as much about a man as anything. No matter how far he reached on that ladder of success, he was never above doing or caring about the small things. And I think that's an important lesson for all of us to keep in mind as we go forward.